Most experienced Altium Designer users will use net classes to keep nets organized. Net classes often include nets of the same type or interface, such as data buses and addresses. Nets in these groups can be quickly highlighted on the PCB from inside the PCB panel. Net classes can also be used to select primitives so that their parameters can be edited. Their main use is in assigning design rules that apply to specific objects in the PCB. There are a few ways to create net classes. Net classes can be created in the schematic and in the PCB layout. The preferred approach is to create these in schematic sheets. For individual nets, you can place a parameter set directive on a wire. In the object's properties, you need to add a net class and then give it a name in the value column. It's sometimes a good idea to duplicate the name of the class in the label field for convenience. We can then copy this directive and place it on other nets that we want to add to the same net class. To add a large group of signals to a class, use the blanket directive from the Place Directives menu. Position the blanket so that the net marks are inside the blanket area. Next, place the parameter set directive on the created blanket, add a net class, and give the net class a name. The blanket area does not need to be rectangular. By fixing the position of the sides with the left mouse button, you can build a custom shape and avoid unwanted nets. Also, make sure that the net labels fall completely into the area and the border does not touch any pins. Otherwise, all the nets on these pins will be added to the net class. Finally, place a parameter set directive with the configured net class on the blanket. All net classes that we have created on the schematic will be imported into the PCB layout once it is updated. You can find and view all net classes in the net section in the PCB panel. Let's look at a few more ways to create net classes in a schematic. If there is a group of signals of the same type or naming structure in the schematic, these signals can be added to a net class while using the bus tool. When wiring up a bus, a circuit label with the same general name can be placed on the bus, and we indicate the range of signals to be included in the bus in square brackets. The net class will appear on the board after updating the PCB. If you place a harness in a schematic to organize connections on an interface, there is another way to add nets from this interface to a net class instead of using the blanket and parameter set tools. A net label with the class name can be added directly to the signal harness, and this new net class will be added to the board after updating. In our case, since the class was already in the PCB, only the name will be updated. The final two methods for adding net classes will only work if certain checkboxes are selected in the Class Generation tab in the Project Options window. Net classes can also be created inside the PCB editor. This can be done in the PCB panel in the Nets section or in the Design Classes menu. Using the right click menu, select Add Class and give the new net class a name. Now, in the center column, select the nets you want to add and transfer these to the right column. After pressing OK, the new net class will be created and it will now be visible in the PCB panel. Let's look at another way to add nets to a net class in the PCB editor. While holding the Shift key, select some objects you want to add to a net class. Open the right-click menu and open the Net Actions submenu. In this menu, we can add nets to an existing class or create a new net class that will include the selected objects. Select Create Net Class and give the new net class a name. This class will now appear in the PCB panel. Note that if net classes were created on the board, they might be removed from the schematic when the board is updated. To prevent this from happening, go to the Project Options and open the ECO Generation tab. Disable the Remove Net Classes option, then save the project. Now when new net classes are created in the PCB editor, they will not be deleted during the update.